this series of videos in the countdown to polling day December 12th concluding a detailed seats forecast for the Tories, Labour, Lib Dems and SNP. Analysis and forecast based on nine key lessons learned from 2017 general election that I covered in an earlier video where as the opinion polls have consistently been wrong for now four UK elections in a row and thus should be ignored whilst the most accurate predictor of UK elections has consistently been my house prices based forecasts and average earnings growth that was first made available to patrons who support my work on the 24th of November 2019. So for immediate first access to all of my analysis and trend forecasts then do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just $3 per month. And here is my final seats per political party election forecast based on extensive analysis published at the Market Oracle site over the past three weeks, a fraction of which has been uploaded to YouTube as videos. Now the whole of this analysis was first made available to patrons who support my work, including my final seats forecast at 12pm on the 11th of December. Whilst the concluding forecast was also posted at the Market Oracle website at 5am on the 12th of December, i.e. about an hour ago. The above analysis averaged to 325.3 Tory seats. Now I could attempt to weight the various seats projections in favour of the direction towards my core forecast. But 35 plus years of market analysis experience tells me that waiting does not work. All that happens is that the analyst skews results in the favour of the direction that the analyst most favours. Next is whether to round 325.3 down or up. On the basis of the sum of my analysis, my preference is to round the average number upwards. Therefore, my final forecast conclusion is that the Tories will win 326 seats on the 12th of December general election and even if they miss this forecast by as many as 4 seats i.e. converged lower towards my core house prices based forecast of 322 then they will still be able to govern as a minority government also note that my final forecast conclusion only deviates from my original UK house prices based forecast of 24th of November by just 4 seats i.e. 326 versus 322. With my final Tory seats forecast settled, I can now fill in the blanks for what the other parties are likely to achieve. So, with my forecast for the Tories to win 326 seats, this then results for Labour to target 241 seats, the Lib Dem 17, Brexit Party 0 and the SNP 40. And that is my final forecast for the 2019 general election and we'll probably find out in about what 18 hours time roughly what the actual result is all of this was first made available to patrons who support my work so for immediate first access to all of my analysis and forecasts then do become a patron by supporting my work for just three dollars per month